Hi guys, welcome to another video. Hope you're all keeping well. Uh, now, uh, for this video, I'd like to do another uh, a movie review um, of a, a Blu-ray that I watched there a couple of nights ago. It's a fantastic movie made in 2018 and stars Corbin Bernson, uh, who was in L.A. Law in the uh, 80s, and he was also in the uh, two horror movies, The Dentist, plus he's made other, other different kinds of movies besides. And that movie is called The Russian Bride. Now, um, if you haven't seen this movie, guys, I strongly recommend that you get yourself a copy because it's absolutely fantastic. Um, the story is basically about this, um, uh, uh, you know, sort of like creepy character, uh, this plastic surgeon. He's a billionaire type guy played by Corbin Bernson. Uh, now, uh, what he does, um, he peruses the uh, internet dating sites in search of a, a Russian bride. Uh, but he's got he's got this dark uh, he's got this dark uh, ulterior motive. He's not just looking for love and marriage. He's, as I say, he's got this uh, dark dark motive. Uh, which, as the movie unfolds, we gradually learn more and more about his true intention. Yeah. Okay. So he finally finds his dream girl on this dating site. You know, the, all, all these Russian girls and that looking for single men. Uh, he marries this uh, very attractive girl uh, and she's got a, a daughter as well, you know, a, a young daughter. So he marries her and then he takes her back to his all oh, sprawling country mansion, you know, all oh, so absolutely all. Oh, it's like a palace uh, because he's loaded like, you know, he's, he's like a billionaire. Obviously, he's got this lovely big manor house, uh, you know, deep in the countryside. Uh, now, at first, he seems a pretty uh, uh, homely, hospitable guy, you know, he has people round for dinner, you know, he, he treats his wife very politely and that, and, and the little girl and that, but gradually, guys, as the movie unfolds, we learn that he's not all what he seems to be, you know, he's a very, very dark character, I won't give away too much of the story, in case you haven't seen it, but boy, God, does he turn out to be one, one mean, one mean A, one mean B, you know, he really does, Um. He has people round for dinner, and as I say, he conveys this uh, this exterior being a very hospitable, a hospitable, friendly guy. But he's got this evil, evil sort of like streak and that. But uh, yeah, so um, you know, all sorts of uh, things start happening. There's a couple of murders, um, which we suspect Corbin Bernson's character is behind, um, and he even starts creeping around and, and, and you know at night, and he goes into the he goes into uh, the little girl's room and that, and you know the mother questions. She says like, "What were you doing?" In, in in my daughter's room the other night and he just puts her off to see oh he's just you know she, she hasn't been feeling so well so he's just checking on her yeah but he's got as i say he's got this dark ulterior motive um and you'll find out what it is uh, in the last part of the movie i won't give away the twist but boy what a twist it is corbin Bernson. He's absolutely fantastic at playing these villainous nefarious characters uh, you know he's really good um there's one particular scene where he's dining at, dining at the table with his wife, this long table, and he suddenly broaches the subject for some weird reason. He broaches the subject of the case years ago where the, um, I think it was a plane crash in the mountains, and the survivors, once they started getting hungry, they started, they resorted to cannibalism, and he broaches this subject, uh, and, it's, and he says, like, he, he starts getting all weirdly hypothetical because he says to his wife, now what would you do, he says, um, if I suddenly... Uh, wanted to eat human flesh and that and when he's eating this big meal and he crams this big piece I think it's a piece of chicken in his mouth and that and he starts to you know he starts sort of like uh, pretending you know he's sort of like acting as if he's actually eating human flesh the way he does it it's real creepy you know I mean I, I you know you'd have to see the movie for yourself to see what I mean but you know the way he just crams it into his mouth and that you know roughly and he starts munching on it and that and he, he's sort of like suggesting to his wife that he is actually eating eating human flesh oh yeah that's just one incident guys and then you've got the support and cast you've got it's a it's housekeeper who again at first when we first meet her in the movie she seems quite a, a you know hospitable inoffensive lady but boy is she as evil as corbin bernson's character is you know and also there's, a, there's this gardener uh this dumb this dumb uh, he, he can't speak and um, he, when when the wife passes the gardener that, well, he got the handyman with Corbin Burns, and she queries like why he's not speaking. And Corbin Burns, and he just says, "Matter of fact, oh, he, he lost his tongue. You know, he's got no tongue yet. Oh yeah, a lot going on in this guy. Yeah, it's got a very, very creepy atmosphere. I was totally enthralled by it by, from start to finish. It's got a good sort of storyline, great acting, especially by Corbin Burns and as the main antagonist. Uh, and he is really he is one mean, as I say, one mean B in this. You know, he doesn't pull any punches. He's ruthless. He's arrogant." 
it, and he, oh, Corbin Benson, he should have got an award for this movie because he, he he really knows how to play a villain. You know, I just show you the back guys. There's a couple of photos of the, I can't read you the uh, Blair because it's all in German. But there's some photos, guys, of the movie there. Rather horrific discovery there. Now this is a guy that's got plenty of um, he's got plenty of skeletons in his closet. He really has. Sorry about the glare, guys. It's just the um, it's just the ring lights. And there's Corbin Benson there with his uh, his shotgun. Yeah, he knows how to play a villain, Corbin Benson. He's a fantastic actor. Uh, and if you like a good psychological thriller, you know, with a good twist, I'll highly recommend The Russian Bride from 2018. Um, okay, guys, so on to a rating now um, out of 10. I've got no hesitation, guys. I'm going to give this a full 10 out of 10 because that's how much I enjoyed this movie. Uh, you can actually get it on DVD in American on in America, I think it is. I haven't seen it on on, on the shelves over here, uh, but I thought I wanted to get the Blu-ray, so I, I sent to Amazon Germany for it. Oh yeah, it's a fantastic movie, The Russian Bride. I think you will enjoy it. And if you like Corbin Burns, and uh, you will especially you will especially enjoy it. It's got everything. This guy's. It's got like um, it's got horror. It's got mystery. It's got good characters. A good solid storyline and it does and also guys i must mention it's got a lovely snowy setting i mean and, and the picture quality oh it's absolutely pristine it's one of the i think this is one of the best looking blu-rays i've watched uh, for quite some time it's pin sharp the lovely snowy setting that enhances the movie all the more that's the icing on the cake if you <laughs> if you pardon the pun yeah the real icing on the cake for what is truly an enthralling movie it reminds me a little bit of the shining because you've got this claustrophobe You've got this claustrophobic shut-in feeling, you know, the sort of like hold and sway over the general storyline. But the snowy scenes, guys, and as you know, if you if you watch my videos, you know how much I love snowy scenes being more of a winter person uh, than it more of a winter person than a summer summer person. Yeah. So um, so as I say, guys, if you like a good psychological thriller with a good mystery and a good twist. Uh, I would highly recommend that you get yourself a copy of The Russian Bride. It's a fantastic movie. Corbin Benson is really on the money as this, uh, you know, this sinister billionaire plastic surgeon character. Uh, you know, he's uh, and he, he, as I say, as the movie goes on, I say he, he seems to be okay at first, but as the movie goes on, his sort of like war personality gradually unravels. Uh, for instance, he, he, he uses his temp, he loses his temper at the least little thing, and he starts shouting and bawling at his wife. And he threatens, he get, he's got a shotgun, he threatens them with a shotgun, uh, and he, he becomes very, very aggressive, you know, and he's real mean, he's one mean son of a bitch, and that's no word of a lie, guys. He is, he, I say, Corbin Bernstein, when he plays a villain, he plays a villain, and uh, I think he will enjoy this movie, yeah. Okay, guys, well, that's it. Have you seen The Russian Bride? What did you think of it? Let me know in the comments down below, um, yeah. Okay, so, uh, so that's it for now then, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. And I will talk to you say, all again soon. Thanks. If you enjoyed watching this video, guys, you might like to check out my website at www.alantona.com. Um, you'll be able to find out a little bit more about my work as a writer uh, and all the uh, books I have published uh, to date. Thanks for watching.